Hey guys, Buff and Game Back, bringing another video today for our Blueprint Weapon Series, and today we're going to be covering the Sand Sweeper Blueprint for the AK-47, effectively turning it into the RPK light machine gun. So I'll show you how to unlock this weapon, the different attachments on the Blueprint, and some different attachments you can put on this to make it also an effective weapon, and then we'll see how it handles in-game against bots. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So back out here, we see the final design for the Sand Sweeper Blueprint, turning it into an RPK light machine gun, minus the stock on the weapon. And you can see the attachments there for this weapon. So let's go ahead and back out. You can see this is unlocked at tier 71 on the battle stream for the battle pass for season 3. So right after you get that last milsim operator, you get the Sand Sweeper Blueprint here for the AK-47, turning it into the RPK light machine gun. So let's go ahead and back out. We'll go to our custom class here, and we'll take a look at this loadout. So again, here is the final design for the Blueprint for the Sand Sweeper. What I'm going to do is strip this down and build it from scratch in case you want to build this thing yourself and you don't have the blueprint. So, to start out, we're going to go with the muzzle brake. This is going to assist with recoil stabilization as well as aim down sight speed and aiming stability being the cons for this attachment. Now, the barrel, we're going to go ahead and go with the 23-inch RPK barrel over the Romanian barrel because this just is the one that comes with the blueprint itself. And you can see the pros and cons here are effectively very similar. So, we're going to go with the 23-inch RPK barrel. The pros here being damage at range, bullet velocity, as well as recoil control and the cons being aim down sight speed as well as movement speed. Now we skip on the laser for the optic, we're going for the monocle reflex sight, this is another Russian red dot sight for this weapon. So this is gonna assist with the precision sight picture as well as the cons being aim down sight speed. Go ahead and select that. Now the no stock option we're going with here is the no stock, so the pros being movement speed as well as aim down sight speed, the cons being aim and stability and recoil control. Now. If you've been following the channel, you know I hate weapons with no stock, and I would never use this in a real in-game scenario, but I was surprised when I was playing around with this, just how little the recoil is affected by this. In reality, if you had no stock on a 7.62 by 39 millimeter weapon like this, like the AK-47, the recoil would be completely uncontrollable. But for this, there's effectively literally no recoil on the weapon for some reason. So we'll go ahead and select that. Now, the for the attachment here, we're going to go... First off, for the under barrel, this actually helps complete the design, is the operator foregrip. So you can see you get the same design with any under barrel attachment that is a grip. It's going to complete that look for the blueprint. So the operator foregrip, you can go with any other under barrel attachment that puts that lower part of the hand guard on there with the Picatinnies. But again, for this blueprint, we're going with the operator foregrip. So that's going to assist with the recoil control as well as the aim down sight speed. So we'll go ahead and select that. So there is our final build for the Sand Sweeper AK-47, turning it into the RPK light machine gun. So we see here the final design. Now the blueprint changes for this. Obviously we have that goldish type tint to the camouflage of the weapon. We also have a different magazine from the base magazine of the weapon. So we have Versus the standard 30 round magazine that you would get. You can see how, here how it's effective if I put any other magazine on this weapon. So the standard 30 round magazine is that really old rustic metal looking 30 round magazine. So that's actually, this is a nicer magazine. Unfortunately, we have this wrap on there, which I seem to put on almost every magazine that's uh, different cosmetics for the base version of the magazine. But again, it looks much cleaner. And then really the only other change is the golden part, the golden camouflage to the weapon. We have some additional writing on the weapon itself. If I preview it here, you can see we have some Russian writing on the top left-hand side of the dust cover of the weapon, and then you see some writing on the underbarrel handguard there as well, where you have that Picatinny attached right there. And it also differs from something like the Steel Curtain Blueprint, where we have an AK-12 pistol grip on there. But effectively, those are really the only changes. If I go ahead and back out, We'll see how this looks with other attachments. You already saw the base barrel on the weapon, so if we put something like a Spetsnaz barrel on there, you can see it looks pretty nice. The under barrel for the AKS-74U, that 8.1 inch, you can see how that's effectively changed. We don't retain any camouflage on the wooden handguard though, unfortunately. And then the Romanian barrel there, you don't have an undergrip option on that, so you're going to have that same wood finish on there. So other attachments, again, I would really prefer the Spetsnaz barrel because that kind of completes the weapon look. Also, with the stock option, you can see the base stock versus any other stock here. Again, it's going to look very similar to the base AK-47. No cosmetic changes to that. The rear grip is going to be affected just with putting that grip tape on the left and right side of the pistol grip. And then we already looked at the magazines here, so you can see how those look if we change those. And then, obviously, muzzle attachments. We have something like a tactical suppressor. These are not going to affect the blueprint designs at all. So as long as we have an underbarrel attachment that 
changes the lower part of the handguard there, you're going to get the same cosmetic changes as the blueprint itself. So there we go with the, if I just deselect, here you can see how it looks like with the actual RPK barrel that it should have. And then if I do the no stock barrel. So this is our final design for the RPK blueprint from the Sand Sweeper. So let's go ahead now and jump in, take a look at what the camos look like on this weapon. You can see how it affects the blueprint itself just by the upper, lower, and then the pistol grip as well. The monocle reflex sight is also affected by the camouflages you're putting on this weapon. So you can see there how that looks. Now the iron sight's the same as the basic 847. I didn't notice any change, so I really won't show those. But again, we'll jump in game here. You can see this being used against bots on Euphrates Bridge. And like I said, I was actually really surprised how well this weapon handled with the recoil, given that there's no stock on the weapon. First off, the ADS speed is buffed up pretty heavily just because we don't have a stock option, but I would have really expected much more recoil on the weapon. So I can understand why a lot of the meta weapons in game are running a weapon with no stock, because it really doesn't do anything to the recoil whatsoever, which is very strange considering the AK-47 pretty, has pretty heavy recoil at base, and it, almost with these attachments and no stock option, it seems like the recoil is better than what the weapon looks like. Uh, with the recoil patterns at base, even with some additional attachments on the weapon. So I would really expect to see much more issues controlling the recoil with this, but for some reason it's still like a laser for the most part. You can see here in game, pretty easy to get shots on target, even at a distance where you wouldn't expect that to be the case. But go ahead and let me know what you think of that. The blueprint itself, again, we utilize the same uh, upper and lower receiver as the steel curtain blueprint for the most part, minus a little bit of changes with some additional writing on the weapon, especially the dust cover. We have the rib dust cover with the stamped receiver of the weapon itself. Same with the steel curtain blueprint of the weapon. Very similar. So let me know what you guys think of this. I think it's overall a pretty cool blueprint, but again, nothing really crazy for the cosmetic changes of the weapon. And I think it serves a nice purpose being for the sand sweeper, what it's called. It has a nice sandy, dusty color to it with that gold tint. And again, the name itself suits the weapon, just being that there is no stock and it's really meant for like a light LMG to sweep enemies and put fire on them pretty, pretty quick. So again, I do like this blueprint. I'm looking forward to the Frankenstein weapon builds that we'll be able to make. That's supposedly coming this coming Tuesday with the upcoming update that we'll see this coming Tuesday. So that will be added in game as well as some additional things. We'll have to see if the M249 saw is going to be added in as well. I know that is going to be coming at some point this season. I think the Gaming Revolution might have done a video showcasing it a little bit. And the weapon there didn't look like it was quite done as far as rendering. But, oh, no. No one really knows how old that footage is when it was recorded, when it was given to him, or how he picked it up. So we'll have to wait and see. Historically, those third weapons coming with the seasons are coming towards the latter half of the season. And we're a little bit closer to halfway right now. Again, the season just started a few weeks ago, so I wouldn't really expect to see it quite yet. I think we'll see the other operator drop first, and then the saw eventually come down the road. But again, we'll have to wait and see if that's coming this Tuesday or not. I think the biggest part of this update is going to be the mix and matching of the blueprints of the Frankenstein weapon build. So I'm looking forward to getting into that. I believe it's only you're able to mix and match parts from the different blueprints of that particular weapon. So for example, with this sand sweeper for the AK-47, I'll be able to take an AK-47 and any blueprint that I have, I'll be able to swap out the, attach the different cosmetic attachments that I have across all my blueprints unlocked only for the AK-47. So I don't think we're going to be able to put M4 blueprint parts onto an AK-47 because some of the some of the parts change cosmetics like the the barrels for the M4s you wouldn't be able to swap onto the AK-47s, but maybe for different stocks I'd really like to be able to put like one of the stocks from the M4 onto the AK just to make it more similar to an AK-12 build of the weapon. But again, I think it's only going to be for that particular weapon. So any blueprint for the M4, I'll be able to swap out cosmetic changes for that and build a nice customized gun. Same for the AK-47 and any other weapon. So if you don't have those blueprints unlocked, I don't believe you'll be able to swap out those attachments is what I'm guessing. But we'll have to wait and see what that looks like. Supposedly that's coming this coming Tuesday. So I'm looking forward to covering that and seeing what we can build with that and see if it's really that any beneficial at all. But I think just having different cosmetic options per slot of attachment is going to make it a nice, cool change to the weapon itself and the different builds you can make to personalize your own weapon. So that'll be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. Let me know what you guys think of this blueprint down below. Let me look, know what kind of blueprints you want to see going forward for the rest of the season as well as the upcoming seasons. 
different blueprints, different weapons. I know the Milsim operators for the Allegiance are confirmed. It's just a matter of when they're coming, whether it's here in Season 3 or beyond, probably with Season 4, perhaps. But we'll have to see. I know Joel Emsley was making some Reddit posts about that, that they have to go through the, uh, different sorts of processes between the art department, etc., and different departments before it's all finalized and ready to go in-game. So the focus of this season seem to be on the coalition operators but we'll have to wait and see when and what allegiance operators are released so looking forward to that down the road let me know what you guys think down below i'm just going to leave you with the rest of this gameplay this is the sand sweeper blueprint for the ak-47 turning it into the rpk light machine gun go ahead and drop a like if you enjoy the video and subscribe to the channel i also have the best dmr build video coming up soon where we're comparing the m4 with the socom rounds or the sr25 that i like to call it in this game as well as the vks from the odin as well as the mark 20 from the Scar 8. So I'm comparing all those two to see which one is the best and trying to throw the SKS in that mix as well. But we'll have to see if I can get all the attachments unlocked to compare it. But I have an idea of what the results are going to be. But drop a like if you want to see that video. Comment down below what which DMR you think is the best. And I'll leave you guys with the gameplay. Until next time, Buffer Gaming, out. Solid work. 